live camera music. The funny story with with the with the one with pitbull. I have something with bad girls and bad skin in town <laughs> for sure. Uh, hello and welcome back to Green Access Spotlight. I'm your host Pooja Kashyap, and you're watching Go Talk. Step into the spotlight as we bring you an exclusive chat with Grammy award-winning sensation Sikotoy, aka Alexandru Kotoy. He has collaborated with renowned artists like Pitbull, Mahomby, and Wizen for the Grammy piece Baddest Girls in the Town. But let me tell you, there's more to this musical genius than meets the eye. We are taking you behind the scenes to uncover the genius behind the group. His journey to collaborate with international artists, and not to mention his latest single, Bad Girls, with Ina, Antonia, and Eva. So let's go to the rhythm of Mr. Sikato. Trust me, this is the one you won't want to miss. So, how are you, Alex? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Your music journey began in 2003. So, yeah. what inspired you to start writing songs, and how has your style evolved since your early days to become the renowned Sikotoy? So, basically, I um, I started learning the guitar when I was in uh, in middle school to high mm-hmm. school. So, I was always connected to music, but mainly like to rock music and like mm-hmm. heavy metal. And And stuff like that and uh, as the years went by i was more attracted into the way the song was made like how how you can like compose a song and make a song so i became really passionate about it and started learning producing uh, back in that time there was there weren't so many like internet tools to to make music and it was a little bit more about recording stuff mm-hmm. but it, well, it was nice So um, I started producing mainly like pop songs yeah. and worked with like a local indie artists. I had an, an indie band back then and I, I produced for. And after a while I started to to work with bigger artists and produce like main pop songs and uh, has some some radio songs airplay and I became more in love with with the uh, with producing of producing music. And uh, in 2018 I uh, I started a project called Sico Mm. which is like my my love for electronic music how i see like electronic and dance music congratulations on your grammy award thank you so much that was your uh, grammy winning collaboration with pitbull mohombi and vision for yeah. baddest It's yeah, yeah for the baddest i have something with bad girls and baddest girl in town <laughs> for sure uh, yes Why yeah, no. Doing? As you said, it, I I figured it out. It has some some connection with that. Hopefully, hopefully it gets the same same recognition as the other one. <laughs> This one. Right, right. It, yeah, it, it's a funny story with with the with the one with Pitbull because it it wasn't uh, a song that was supposed to be. Uh, Mahomby was <laughs> was here in Romania where I'm where I'm based, and uh, he actually came for a uh, for shooting a movie here, hmm. and then uh, after he had the meeting with. Like people from management and stuff like that, he was like, we were just friends. We were re- relaxing on a on a leg, and he was like, let's do a session, let's do some music, and that's how Baddest Girl in Town was made. And he pitched it to people. People was looking for songs, and the whole single came out. Okay. So I think I think from from this I learned that it's better to not like miss any opportunity when it comes. Right. And how did you meet Vizin? Uh, Vizin was actually a collab. I didn't meet him personally, but. Uh, Pitbull wanted to have him on on the song as a collab, and I just like had the he recorded the vocals uh, back in South America. He sent that mm. to me, and I just like puzzled together the whole part. Okay, so Bad Girls is your latest hit featuring Ina 
and Tonya and Eva. What's yeah. the story behind that? Scene? I answered a little bit of of, uh, of this question in the in the question before. Uh, mm. We had some sessions for Global Records in uh, Dubai, mm. and we produced like uh, music for uh, artists from Global Records, like Ina, Antonia, my project, Minelli, and, and also like pitch it for uh, international artists. And we we did this song. Uh, I told you like with Wayne Hector and uh, Rollo and um, it was like a night in Dubai it, it was actually like the third the third song in that day we just like wrote three ideas and this one was like the fun idea you know we, we, we do like a brief one like a serious one let's do this type of song then we do more like an emotional one and then have let's just have fun for like 20 minutes and this was the fun one <laughs> bad girls and afterwards i i like from the message and from the attitude of it i felt it's it's a it's a girl song it's it's very cool so i talked to tina and antonia through through lucian the manager and we puzzled everything together and also except antonia i have songs with uh, with ina before and uh, with eva so we already knew each other seems like you are a great friends with uh, Ina Amazon. Yeah. Actually we talked we talked uh, three days ago or four days ago and we were very happy that the song that we did uh, together in 2020 Victim <laughs> is featured on the on the main uh, promotion for Victoria's Secret like worldwide. Oh, that, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like uh, Naomi Campbell and all the stars, you know. <laughs> okay. So in 2019, you gained massive success under the alias Sikotoy with hits yeah. like Dicted and You Don't Love Me. What was the inspiration behind these tracks and how did you come up with the name Sikotoy? Um, yeah, so the inspiration is I always felt that I'm attracted a little bit to to Eastern music, like Eastern vibes, Eastern traditional music, like played with wood and uh, instruments like that. Uh, and I wanted to mix it with, uh, with electro uh, electronic sounds, you know, like dance sounds. So on Addicted, that was the main inspiration. And maybe for the whole songs, it's like a general vibe to, to them. I mean, it has some Eastern and uh, Western influences, you know, like join the both worlds together. I think uh, with with the alias was it's just a thing of my name because actually my name is Alexandru Kotoi. So when you see like if you take Kotoi and you say like si Kotoi, it's in a way my my name, you know. Okay, that's very fascinating. Yeah, yeah, because it okay. feels like it's, it's like a crazy toy, you know, like uh, something weird, something interesting, like si Kotoi. But it's actually a, a fun way to spell my name. <laughs> okay. I, and I was trying to find the hidden meaning. The, the hidden meaning is like, it's not that hidden, but it's it's the, the music, it's crazy and you can expect everything and just have with it, have fun with it. You also co-founded the music group Sonic House in 2017 and your album Supersonic made waves. So could you share some memorable moments from that phase of your career? I don't think it's, it was 2017. That's, that's how it says in Wikipedia. Okay. <laughs> It's, it's actually an, yeah. yeah no it's actually a uh, it's my first indie project so it was in 2009 so back in the day okay uh, it was nice I, I don't think it got that much recognition but uh, mm -hmm. for the indie vi like for the indie uh, public and more left side you know they loved it so it was fun I was I was a producer and a guitar player in that band okay who are you closest to among Rezvan Victor and Radu these are my friends from this, these are my uh, my friends from back in Morandi and with them we we founded Sonic House okay. together. You're, you're still in touch with them? I'm in touch with Vicky actually yeah pretty well we work in the same okay. environment and I talked to Radu also a year ago I see and moving from a group to your solo career how did you navigate challenges and opportunities when transitioning to producing music as an individual artist? So in my opinion life is about taking steps and taking challenges you know because so, like otherwise you get you get pretty bored if you stay on the same same thing for too much time so from uh, from I, I actually so in my opinion like my biggest steps in my career are like that because I actually graduated electronics and telecommunications like a totally different kind of area and the step for me was like doing music and making a 
living out of it. So that was the first step. And I started like a guitar player and playing in bands. And I played like lots of bands. Afterwards, I felt like I can do more. And the next step was the, to become a producer. So that was my se second step in, in my career. After I started producing songs and confirmed and had a radio airplay, had some hits and stuff like that, I wanted to start like an artist career. Mm -hmm. So that's why when, when Sikotoy came, came up. So I'll do that probably. I don't know what's going to be the next step in the future. We are all trying to figure it out. But yeah. it's, it's fun. It's about steps. If, if you don't take steps and challenges in life, it's not the same. You were also part of... Uh, one true singer and your involvement showcased your mentorship would love to know your thoughts on this music contest and the experience of being a part of it uh i was pretty nervous the first like for the uh, for the audition because I, I i'm not used to be in front of the of the camera you know hmm. i wasn't being that used you know so uh, the first time like the first audi uh, the, the auditions were pretty challenging but uh, once i got into the vibe and i really liked the concept of the show, the proper, uh, how to say it, the purpose of the song to really deliver uh, an artist that works. And actually the, the contest did that. The, the winner of the contest has pretty big recognition in, in Romania right now. Uh, it was it was really interesting for me and I really liked it. I, I started to enjoy more and more and had really fun with, with One True Singer. What was that takeaway lesson for you? From One True Singer? Yes. Um, probably... Probably the lesson I, I emphasized more in One True Singer was also for me and also I felt in the, in the participants, in the contest, in the contestants, was that uh, I gained a lot of more self-confidence. Also for me and I saw for, for them that they got self-confidence. So the whole thing was a, a, a thing for self-confidence for us, which is good. Any performance that really touched your heart? On One True Singer? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think, I think the winners last song in the in the contest was really touching it was really good usually if i uh, talk about music then artists uh, dream of signing with major record labels in your opinion what are the critical factors an artist should consider before sealing the deal with a record label uh yeah i think i think the the world has changed a little bit in the in the last i don't know five to ten years with all the social media all the internet all the streaming that we got lots of artists lots of music probably is like 60 or 70 thousand songs per day released on spotify which is pretty pretty lot so um, i think an artist should before he signs with with a label i think he should do everything by themselves promotions video tiktok music because like the the advantage nowadays is that you can do most partly by yourself with a laptop a phone some like basic equipment you can really do good music so the best investment for an artist is to invest in himself by learning and by creating this is the first first thing so i would recommend every artist to spend probably the first two or three years of their career to gain a name for themselves uh, build up a public like a fan group for themselves and uh, that's why they would have a better signed deal afterwards with, with the label. Great advice. Okay. Uh, aspiring music producers look up to you. Uh, so could you share a secret sauce of yours when it comes to crafting hit tracks? <laughs> you know, there's no recipe for that because I, myself, I watched lots of producers that I look look up to and I think the only main thing I, I, I got from, from them and I, I see I apply in my producing and probably the best advice I can give is try to learn how to to listen to yourself like try to reproduce what you have in your mind if you have something in your mind and you want to hear it in that specific thing then try to to reproduce it on on the on the computer or like on the song that you do because like it's very easy with all these tools to let you guide it like to, to be more guided about the tools than about what you really yourself you hear yourself so that's one thing and it's a good thing to learn learn an instrument for sure i i would go with the classic way <laughs> learn an instrument first right 
so after bad girls what's next in the pipeline for bad girls i, I mean i uh, after bad girls i have uh, i have like probably three or four ideas that i'm i concentrating on but i'll probably do some more sessions i'll do some like probably 10 or 20 more ideas and then pick up one one for the next release i don't have it like planned 100 percent. also how do you connect with your fan base uh, what do you mean like connect video fan base like how do you interact with them how do you get to know about their experiences when they listen to your music and meet and greet or social media oh, stuff like that uh, I'm not that active on social media actually I'm uh, I'm doing some stuff and promotion on Instagram I just release stuff and I'm putting pictures with, with what I'm doing like sessions and, and stuff like that but actually I feel in a way I know it's, it's not the best recommended thing but in a way I feel that uh, people should listen to music more than to the social image of an artist so uh, when I'm doing gigs concert studios I post stuff on that but I'm not that guy that does live things and you know interacting like with live video with, with fans okay so with that we are going to wrap this session so thank you Alex for sharing your stories secrets and inspirations with us and we can't thank wait you so to much. see we can't wait to see what Sonic Wonders you'll bring next and we have come to an end that's a wrap for today's interview we hope you found it informative and engaging and don't forget to check out the scintillating beats of Bad Girls with Ina and Tonya Eva and our star of today's episode Tripotor thank you all for joining us today on this musical ride this is Groove Talks where music meets passion signing off until our next episode wait 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 also don't forget to like share and subscribe to Phoenix's Spotlight.